Hey guys, this is Jeremy from HowToHockey.com. I just got a new hockey stick, so I thought I'd do a video on how to take a stick. I'm going to do the blade in this video, and I'm going to do another video on how to take the knob. There's a lot of different preferences on how to take a stick, so I'm going to show you how I do it. And I'll talk about a few other ways to take a stick as well. So let's get started and get taping. So for taping the blade, there's a few different ways you can do it. you got your white tape, your black tape. Some people like to use black tape, other people like to use white. There's not much of a difference between them. Uh, some people say that the goalie can see the puck on your blade better if you use white tape. I usually use black tape, just personal preference, I think. And um, also for taping the stick. Now there's a lot of different ways to tape one. You can start at the heel, go to the toe, start at the toe, go to the heel. I like to start at the toe and go to the heel. I'll, sh I'll show you why later on. Uh, there's other players that will only tape the last little bit. Uh, so they'll leave this all bare. There's other players that will just put a strip here and a strip here, so there's no tape on the bottom. Uh, a few of the pro players do that, and it's all personal preference. I like to make it simple. I go from the toe to the heel, and I'll get started with that right now. All right, so all you gotta do, get a little bit of tape ready, start at the toe. Some players also like to tape the full toe. I just leave a little bit of opening right there. Uh, if anyone's asking why do you put tape on the blade, if you ever tried to play hockey without tape on the blade, then you'll notice that the puck always comes off your stick, you get no grip. If you're trying to stick handle or trying to shoot, it feels really awkward. So right now what I'm doing, I just have two fingers in the uh, hole of the tape right there, so that lets it slide around. And pulling it nice and tight with my thumb. And basically I like to do about a half overlap. So overlap the next one about halfway. And just keep spiraling down. And some players will stop right here. Uh, the players that do that, they like to have this no grip. So when they're shooting, the puck will slide uh, really quickly until the toe, and then they get a bit of grip at the toe. Uh, the tape also helps put spin on your shot. So I'm doing this pretty slowly. Usually I can zip it on there in you know, under 20 seconds or something. So I'm just doing it nice and slow so you can see. And you don't want any wrinkles or anything in there. So I'll keep on going all the way to right about there. I like to leave, or I like to tear it at the top. If you tear it at the bottom, sometimes it'll come off. So I just rip it right there. If you're not so strong, you can uh, use your teeth or scissors. So uh, then I like to tape the tape like this. And I run it down, and that just smooths down the edges. And I'll show you a nice close up there. You can see that because I taped from toe to heel, when the puck is running this way, it's not going to pull on any of these. If I tape it the other way, see if the puck moves along, it's going to move the tape out of the way. So if the puck is moving from the heel to the toe, it's going to not pull the tape up. And I can go like this, smooth it down, do the same thing on the back. So there you go, that's the blade, it's all done. Uh, some players that are pretty high uh, level, they like to tape up right here because they've got a lot of slashes right there and if you get little chips there then it tends to break the stick easier so you can put a few uh, strips around there if you want um, some guys will go from here all the way to the end but this is how I like to tape it, pretty simple and now you'll see the next video, I'll show you how to tape the knob